Hi. Now, in the last part, part C, we've got to find the speed of P when it returns to A. Remember, it was projected up initially with a speed of U meters per second, went up to B, and now it's going to start to come back down to A. So we've got to find that speed of P then when it returns to A. So if you haven't done this already and want to have a go, just give you a moment to pause the video and you can come back and check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, what we need to do is change this diagram. What's going to happen is that we've projected it from here up to the top it comes to instantaneous rest and it's going to now want to start to move back down. So it's starting with an initial velocity of zero meters per second, but let's say we put the arrow in the other direction. Now when it gets down to A, obviously we need to change this. So we'll say it's going at say V meters per second. And also because it's moving down the plane, this frictional force here will not be going in this direction, but it will be opposing motion. And it's going to have exactly the same force, okay, as you see it here, but just, as I say, in the opposite direction. So we need to change this. So we'll have 5 twelfths R up the plane. Now we need to look at our work energy principle again and this time what's happening is that at B it's got gravitational potential energy but it loses it as it comes down to A so in losing it it gains kinetic energy but also we have to build into this the work done against friction and the work done against friction is not going to change from the answer that we had in part A. It's still the same force, frictional force, going over exactly the same distance. So, let's start with that equation then. That is that the loss in gravitational potential energy, GPE, is equal to the gain in kinetic energy, Ke, plus the work done against friction. And we can now fill in our values into this equation. So what we've got is the loss in gravitational potential energy, mgh, is going to be the mass, 2 kilograms. g we know is 9.8. And we worked out h, that was 1.44. So there's our loss in gravitational potential energy. It's equal to the gain in kinetic energy. So it had no kinetic energy up here. So the only kinetic energy it's gained is the kinetic energy down here, which is going to be a half mv squared. Half the mass is 2, and v squared. OK? And plus the work done against friction, which we've seen in the first part was 3.43 joules. So we can cancel out the twos and we just need to rearrange this equation to get what v squared is. And if we subtract the 3.43 from both sides, working out this quantity by the way gives us 28.224. So we've got 28.224 minus the 3.43. And if you work that out, you end up with V squared equaling 24.794. And to get V, we just need to find the square root of that. So we just put it down here, 24.794. And working this out, we find that V equals, but therefore V equals 4.7. 979 and so on. And rounding this up to say two significant figures gives us V equals 5.0 meters per second to 2SF. All right?